Hi, I'm Dan from SpecGrade LED. Our LED sports lighter and LED flood is setting the industry standard for precision, reliability, and performance. All SpecGrade luminaires are engineered seamlessly to integrate the optical, electrical, and thermal components into one sustainable luminaire system. For now, let's focus on the most important word, system. An LED luminaire is a system of drivers, LED chips, and heat sinking. The critical issue to understand is that the luminaire will fail if the heat sinking or thermal management is not engineered to the level of heat the fixture is producing. What's also essential to understand is that you are not evaluating lighting, you are evaluating electronics. That is, electronics that happen to light up. So, for example, when you are lighting up entire sports fields or indoor arenas with hundreds of thousands of watts in all varieties of climates, a significant amount of heat is being generated. And, as any first-year engineering student knows, heat destroys electronics. So, very simply, if your LED fixture cannot dissipate the heat it is generating, it will end up in a landfill. Thermal management, or the process of dissipating the heat, is what keeps mechanical and electrical engineers up late at night because conducting heat away from the LED junctions is a requisite for long life and consistent lumen and color maintenance. You can have the absolute best LED chips and the highest quality drivers, but if you don't have heat sinking engineered to dissipate a given amount of generated heat, it will cease to function. Guaranteed. The problem is that many lighting industry manufacturers use die-cast aluminum as a heat sink due to its low cost and design flexibility. This works fairly well at lower temperatures, which means lower wattages. As you can see by this conductivity chart, the only materials that conduct heat better than aluminum are silver, copper, and gold. And of course, the price of gold and silver make it cost prohibitive. Most die castings are made from non-ferrous metals, specifically zinc, aluminum, magnesium, lead, pewter, and tin-based alloys. Now, let's take a look at a thermal management system designed with 100% aluminum and copper. This spec grade LED sports lighter is engineered using 79 square feet of aluminum fins and copper heat pipe which are embedded into extruded aluminum. Let's take a closer look. If you're employed in the lighting industry or you specify lighting, what I'm about to show you would be arguably one of the most critical demonstrations you will ever see. Let's try an experiment in terms of the conductivity of materials. First, we're going to boil up some water. But while it's boiling, I want to go over some of these materials we're going to test. This is a die cast fin cut off a traditional LED fixture. And here, I have a copper pipe commonly used in the electronics industry to transfer heat because, as we discussed earlier, the properties in copper make it an excellent conductor of heat. It's the same copper pipe you saw earlier in the cutaway of the LED sports lighter. As you can also see, I have a thermal sensor attached on one end of a wire and a digital readout attached to the other end. Now, let's put the materials into hot water simultaneously and watch how quickly the temperature rises. What's important here is not only how high the temperature rose, but how rapidly. Assume the heat from the water represents the heat from an LED fixture. What we demonstrated here is that copper is a significantly better conductor of heat than die casting. We have designed and engineered it into a superior heat sink for our Prospect Luminaire. This begs the question that if copper is such an excellent conductor of heat, then why are most manufacturers using die cast? Is it because it's inexpensive? All spec grade LED fixtures are given the highest level of thermal management engineering. We invite you to visit our website at www.specgradeled.com. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.